This is called 1996. Jackie took the training wheels off my bike herself the day that Richard Allen found his fist breaking his mother's face. He used to stand outside beating his dog after he waxed his crown vic and he'd say, you're gonna be a man when the years finish. And then he sung gospel songs, offering me menthol so I could sing the background to help him tune his rhythm. Just like when Junior said, you're getting bigger, almost, almost like a man. But then they found him in the park, sleeping, already dead. I used to see him drinking and drowning with my grandma on park benches, holding bottles with Spanish names they couldn't understand. They just knew the feeling. And I wondered what Junior would think if he could see me riding without training wheels in the park past his bed, around the factories and around the factories and mechanic shops where my father had saving money to take care of children that he claimed weren't his. And no one told me what I had when I pedaled past this corner where Mikey stood, Mikey used to shoot firecrackers and bottle rockets at cars as they would pass. He only stopped after an M80 blew up in his hand. And now he stood, holding his baby by the tracks. There, I found him finding me without my training wheels attached, finding me again as his baby found the trash. Mikey didn't want to grow up, and he told me, you keep this a secret like a man. Sometimes I like to talk. You know what I noticed? I, I, you know, when I was sitting right there, you said you really make it out of the East Village, but I saw, I saw you, yeah, I seen you on Governor's Island, and then I saw you out there in Brooklyn, so you, you get around, man. You're like a young dude, you know? Thanks, he is. I mean, you know, it's, as long as you're, um, as long as you're young at heart, I guess, you know? I mean, sometimes, I mean, I'm 32, but sometimes I feel like I'm 66. Oh, so. don't say that. Um, okay, hold on. How much time do I have, man? Um, total of 15 minutes right now. You got uh, 10 minutes left. Oh shit, that's a lot of time. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I can talk a little bit. Um, yeah. yeah. So I've got this book I've been working on. Uh, in fact, I got three questions I want to ask you guys. All right, right. So um, I mean, you're free to. I mean, you look like you want to say something. Right. right? <laughs> all right. Let me let me ask you. Let me ask you three questions. All right. Um, anybody, anybody, you guys believe in ghosts? Yes, yes, I mean, you believe in ghosts, but I mean, well, why? I mean, because you could see, you saw, did it, I mean, did it look like Casper or did it look like a... There was regular people, they were just see Okay, okay. So, um, let me ask you the second question. Do you, uh, does anybody here believe in love? Yes. Yeah? Okay. You know, like, <laughs> uh, you looked at me like, no. Uh, Okay, and so let me ask a third question. I've been going around. I've been going around shooting this documentary, asking people this. Um, third question is, um, you know, in your last relationship, whether it be a romantic, a family member, but in your last relationship, who was the ghost, or who represented the ghost? It's just something to think about. Um, but I got this poem called Los Angeles about my sister, who we were separated for a long time, but um, I'm scared to. Remember when we used to sleep at different ends of the bed? You counted sheep with mom's feet and she played dead mumbling about a great grandmother we couldn't remember. Too late to play telephone, our smiles trace the dark. Window bars and street lights eavesdropped as mom snores eavesdropped on us. And remember how you used to save me with quarters for french fries or vowels every time I couldn't speak up? They said I had to be a man, but I couldn't find my father, and I didn't have a brother. I just knew that 14 months separated our features. A language leaving, going, coming, believing, rewinding, winding, being, reminding me of feeling needed, hair color texture shared in a family, missing pieces. I remember when we used to sleep in the same bed, but now we only talk in kilometers because our language is a desert. Mm. I got, I got, I got, 
Yeah. Okay, okay, cool. All right. Well, I, was, I want to get into this, all right? No. You got some strong stuff, dude. Thank you. Thank you. You know, you know, you know, brother, you know, brother, you know, I, I said, yo, this brother look familiar, you know? And I remember, I remember I seen you, I seen you over in the park, in Washington Square Park, but at the same time, I remember the brother from, um, no, no, nah, nah, it's okay, it's okay, man, time is time, but, you know, the brother, the brother who take the photos took a picture of you, you know what I mean? You said something really insightful, but we, we talk, we talk. <laughs> So, uh, anybody, anybody speak German? No, no, nobody speak German. All right, that's a little bilingual poem. Yes, I do. You do? You do? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. So this is called uh, it's called German Windows. Your grandmother made it a point to box me with an accent. Modal plus infinitive was my mantra, but I forgot the verbs, so her southpaw took advantage. James. Why don't you teach him how to speak the language? He said, because we're here to make music, not dream of Osterreich. She turned and stared at her reflection, tilted in the window slanted. Her memory was running backwards, tripping through Falkwerk. In the cornfields, fish and Jugend still, still bum from the comp that slaughtered her generation. Every time we entered the kitchen, she gave us different names. James was her brother and I was the Auslander. When he became her baby grandson, I was just their nigga, fighting imaginary hormones every time she screamed, get out. One day she was staring at a reflection in the window tilted. We thought she was just trying to remember perception and so she said, I'll call the cops if you don't leave this minute. <laughs> James, was, James was silent. Across the room I could see myself fading in their German windows. Just as the tilt moved, I was headed out the door. Can I have one more, I got one more piece. Oh, yeah. Talking about uh, ghosts and memories. Um, people always ask me about this ring I got on my pinky. This is my father's ring. Um, it's the Lion of Judah. You know, for maybe for for years, you know. My father died two years ago, but for most of my life he was, we didn't really have that relationship. And there's always, um, you know, as a man, it's important for you to you know, recognize what masculine energy is. and I, I feel like just as he died, I learned who he was. So, um, I mean, this is something I wrote a while ago. Self portrait at the beginning. I couldn't help but see. I couldn't help but to see the ghosts of dead buildings, where the new building stood. I ran through the vicinity of my na of my old neighborhood to search for things. I didn't expect to be absent. I heard the screams of ghosts directed at me. They would ask me questions to see if I remembered them until I started to run down the avenue. I ran past my old building to find, the mo for the most part, what I had expected, my father. It was like deja vu watching him lean against the wall. I can remember the times I would see him as a child leaning in the same spot. The only difference today is that we switched places. As a man, I've become his father, and as an old man, he's become my son. He's leaning there watching me reluctantly. He knows what to say, but he doesn't want my judgment to judge his judgment, even if it's about the color of the shirt he's wearing. In moments like this, we forget to use our lungs and we can only communicate with our features. We're twins born from different generations. The only language we understand is our footsteps walking away from each other. Wow. Thank you. Good.